All right, JMB family, just got off of work. I'm about to head towards Houdini Grips, about to get put in some work real quick, just real quick, while I'm on my way to Loma Linda, you know. Been doing a lot of, you know, work and everything with the family, work. Trying to work on this career at the same time. My baby, my heart, my home is in Loma Linda right now at the hospital. It affects me, and it's just like, man, like how I'm gotta keep keep it up, you know. And it, it's real difficult, you know. And that's why I'm thankful that I have my my, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law. They really are helpful, you know. I think I thank God for them for real. And so. Right now, my wife is really depressed and, and it's hurting me, so I'm just gonna spend the night with her. And then I gotta come all the way back, go straight to work, and repeat. So, and it's kind of hard to balance all this stuff out. You know, wife, MMA, kids, work. I'm trying to get this personal trainer license out the way. Then my wife, she got schooled, and it's just like, dang, like. It's just everything, you know, happens for a reason. Because if she didn't go to the hospital, God knows what's going to happen. To people that don't know why my wife is in the hospital, it was an incident that, you know, I'm, and she called me and told me that a certain person, which I'm not going to get into super details, I'm just going to let you know what happened, you know, because I'm not trying to start drama. I'm trying to end it. So the whole point is that she called me, our neighbor was in her face, well neighbor, roommate, whatever you can call it. I got into my wife's face and she's like, man, why you won't you get at my husband like that? You don't get at no woman like that. So, you know, I stopped what I was doing and I zoomed home and I got into a boy face and I said, you know, hey, what's up? Why are you getting at a woman like that? So he just went all big, blew up. You know, I don't, anything that you go through in life, if you have a problem, just go in your room and lock yourself up. If that don't work, go take a walk. If that don't work, go pray or something. If that don't work, do something productive instead of trying to bring other people down. How black hearted some people are. You don't bring other people down because you're down. That don't make sense. Well, to the point is that I said, what's up? You know, I'm not going to do all that talking. You know, you already said what you said to my wife and I'm here to defend her. You know, yeah, you can explain yourself, but what's up? You know, he just got all mad and he said, you know what? I'm just going to call my dad. I'll call your dad. Call your dad. What am I supposed to do? Oh, 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 no. You call your dad, call your dad. I'm going to let him know that how his son is acting. I would be damned to have a son to get in. My son, if he get in a girl face and think he got balls, I don't know what to say. I didn't raise a son like that. 30 minutes passed. I was like, man, I got to go to work. Jumped in the car. Here comes the dad. He said, do you know what this such and such address is at? I'm like, man, you're in the wrong area. Look closely and observed him. And I said, in my mind, I said, I know this person. I've seen his picture, excuse me. I've seen his picture. That's his daddy. So I said, are you old boy, son? Lit up, pulled over, and he said, yeah, that's my son. I said, yeah. Let me turn the light on, because, you know, I'm so black. <laughs> no, I don't. Your son, he got into my wife's face. And he was like, oh, man, I don't know what's going on. I'm just here to defend my son. And I said, I'm here to defend my wife. I don't care about none of that stuff. You don't get in no woman face. Wife, sister, mom, whatever. If you have a problem with it, then walk away. You don't have to do all that to get in her face thinking you King Tut or somebody. I'm here for that. You can come get at me. You know, that's the whole point. I let him know. And here come him. And then he budged my wife. He, he, he kind of like shoved my wife, excuse me. He shoved my wife and said, move. My wife flipped out. She said, babe, he's, he's acting up because his dad is here. And I was like, oh. So he like, what? What? I'm like, dude, you waited 30 minutes for your dad to get here. You could have handled me by yourself. I was like, understandable. I wouldn't fight me too. 
as he got closer, I said, man, you need to check your son because your son is the guy. He got you got to reteach him something. And he was just, he was agreeing. He was like, man, you know, I'm gonna talk to him and stuff like that. You know, he was kind of like ready to fight, but in a way that he's defending his son. So I didn't take him as a threat. So his son got into my bubble and he yelled, "What's up?" I didn't want to talk after that. It was it was far from that. He was basically ready for a fight. I felt like it was a setup. The dad on my left side, out of my bubble. The son is trying to get into my bubble in like not even a second of stepping in. I gave him one mighty push. A straight kung fu push, like a bow. So when that happened, I hit the father and he went straight down. He hit him. He looked like I knocked him out standing up and he just fell straight to the damn ground and he woke up. Then he realized he had a weapon and just went straight forward and he was just fumbling. And I seen his knife and he flipped it out, his little butter, butterfly knife. And I said, oh, that's cute. That pissed him off. I wanted to get to his head to distract him, to you know, mess up his thinking, overwhelm him. The son, he thought he was, you know, big and bad. You see that his father got hit, so he tried to protect his father, and he flared up, and I just went off on him. I used all boxing because I didn't want to, you know, I will wrestle, but then I don't want to wrestle him to the ground. And next thing you know, he gets hurt and he hit his head wrong. He's not trained for that. He would just it'll be a whole different situation. So I just stick to the boxing and use the legs to keep people at a distance. So I was giving him my hands, beating him up pretty bad. Then the dad here, he come with the knife, start swinging. And I said, come here. So as he get more pumped up, that he ran after me. I kicked the front leg that he was using to, you know, to move forward towards me and just made him spread out and he's just like he's like man this is too much and I'm just taking off on his son the whole time like I'm not worried about him you know straight to his stomach and everything you know at that time it was fun for me because you know I didn't train MMA to, to, to for the cage I trained MMA because what goes on in this world not all people are perfect and I'm willing to remind them that you're not perfect you know calm down you know, or protect myself, or my wife, my mom, whoever, anybody that's in the street, I would jump out the car and help him immediately. There won't be no questions asked for those who know me. So they wanted to talk. I said, I didn't want to talk. You took out a knife, you know, what's up? You know, the old boy, he had a taser in his hand. It doesn't mean nothing. I don't, I'm, I'm the weapon. You're, you have to have weapons. I am the weapon in my men, in the way I think. Um, so they wanted to stop, they wanted to squash it, they wanted to get an understanding, you know, and I believe in mercy, you know, in my way, my teachings teaches me that I have to be merciful if I want mercy. So I let that situation die, an hour later, he had his family come, girls and guys, they just walked up in there and, and was screaming, hello, hello, and my wife was like, what you doing here, get up out of here. No. They said they was looking for their brother. Your brother left. He been gone. Like, what are you doing here? What? Do you, why? Why are you in a house for? What is your reason to be in a house? The girl got buck. So she tried to take off my wife. You know, she tried to you know give her one. And my wife, she tried her best to finish her off. But as she was whooping the girl up. That's when the guy grabbed her, her dude, and grabbed her by the ponytail and punched her in the back of the head. And it was a whole thing. And my sister-in-law getting jumped, getting kicked all in her stomach by these grown-ass men. And I wasn't there. It hurt me because I was at work. I waited all that time to think that I w I'm going to be the one to squash all this problem. As soon as I left, my wife became a victim. My sister became a victim. So that's the story. And right now with my wife, her lesson is to never be a victim. Never be a victim again.
I've been jumped plenty of times. And she haven't had a fight like that since middle school. That's a long time. So you're going to see a, a lot of training videos, a lot of comeback videos for that. You're going to see her development. Because once something happened to her, she's a whole different person. Like, believe me. Hopefully she ain't going to try to jump in the cage. <laughs> but... I'm just, it, it just sickens me because I'm looking at it as a positive away right now. At, at first I was negative. I wanted to get everybody. I'm not going to lie. I'm human. I wanted to get every single body. I wanted to lay everybody down. I wanted to jump on top of roofs and just straight elbow to the head. Something. Choke people out. Take them to the desert. That's, this is the mentality. But I got to remember I have to be God consciousness. You know? fire only adds more fire somebody has to be the water so we're just gonna cut start cutting strings start cutting people off and just get back to JMB family because I will never let my family be a victim I will never put myself as a victim I'm gonna have to reteach her like the way I was taught and let's get to it so you guys gotta help me find some flowers man you got for real, cause I'm gonna go get her some flowers. I'm gonna need to put a smile on her face, for her face. Probably get a little bear, put my scent on it. I like wearing Tom Ford oil. It smells bomb, you know. So when she's sleeping there in the hospital, she can smell Joffrey, you know. She can smell her husband Jafar at any given moment, you know. All she gotta do is hug the bear. Um, and get her some Chick Fil A. She loves Chick Fil A, so. See you then. See you later. They didn't have the right balloons. They all had happy birthday or happy birthday boy or happy birthday girl type stuff. There's not no get well balloons or anything like that. So we just got flowers. So it is what it is. You think I should have got happy birthday flower? I mean, like a happy birthday balloon or something? I don't know. Okay. Make sure you um, have to wear a gown and gloves before you go in. Okay.